Welcome to the Lusitani campaign for Davidiet in Pera 1.3. In the last part, we started to expand our kingdom. And in this part, what I would like to do is take out the Turdetani because what I want to do is spread across this part of Iberia as quickly as possible. And probably this just took a little bit of tactics. What I want to do is push out and take all of Iberia, which is this area here, but not actually attack Carthage and really fast because one of my long-term goals is to push out on both sides of the map to expose as many wonders which means we've got to get right over to the eastern side of the map and i don't want this campaign to be too long so we are going to be pushing quite hard to try and accomplish that goal and we've got a bit of an opportunity here now because the the car the Tani have sent down this army here and what i would like to do is possibly just want to make sure that they haven't I haven't dropped an army in there. I, I suppose what we could do is move this agent out this way because I want to find out what the situation over here is. You need to keep an eye on these guys. So we're going to declare war on the Turdetani. Um, you're at war with Carthage. Well, Carthage. Carthage I think what I might need to do is send some a, my, my wives out to the Carthage to try and make them a bit more friendly. We're off to join their war against the Turdetani. It's moderate. That. Okay, we're gonna have to. Do not fight alongside the weak I'm not gonna declare war on Carthage. Yes, I did so. <laughs> we're not ready for that yet. Do not attempt to sweeten truth. Right, we're gonna declare war. Speak They're gonna bring in the the, the, the Versi, who we're already at war with, so it doesn't make any difference. And we're gonna come in here, and we're gonna attack here. Uh, do I really want to fight a siege? Barbarian sieges, especially in the early game, are just so tedious because we'd have to siege for one turn to get more ladders to get... Oh, no, I think I'm just going to auto-resolve this. <laughs> Painful. Because uh, like I said, I, I want to move forward. I mean, we're going to have plenty of opportunities for sieges later on. I, I just really want to move forward. And of course, one of the, the battle type that... Wow, <laughs> that's painful. The battle type that I'm most interested in is ambushes. So we've got this guy here. So the question is, is it going to be worth merging some of these units up? They've got a little bit of experience, but actually, what can we recruit here? Uh, the recruitment's not particularly that good. Uh, we've got some Iberian cavalry. I wouldn't mind getting a little bit more cavalry. we got... Lusitani, let me just merge up one of these units. What we got here, this guy's 38. Um, he's just pure cavalry. What we got here, this is the Kurosai. He's, this is heavy shot cab. Why are we getting heavy shot cab? Oh, we got this. Okay, let's just have a look. So we're getting these guys. Okay, I'm I'm a bit inclined to get this, these guys are going to be fairly expensive, but they got quite a lot of armor. In fact, they're very close to the general unit. Uh, they got a couple of javelins. They're fairly fast. They got a nice charge bonus. They're going to be expensive. I think we're going to get one of those in because I think if we got some heavy cavalry out on our field able to get that done i think that will make quite a nice bit of difference but what we will do is knock this down now uh, but i think what we're going to need is a defensive army well so that this army can go out and push out this way but these guys are kind of hanging around so we've got our uh, for you yeah we're going to raise an army here let me just see who's Who's the most unhappiness with us? Doesn't really make a lot of difference, does it? It depends on who. Um, <laughs> actually, while we're here, if we can send you to Carthage, if we can get a little bit of a trait there. So, you're the Lassini chieftains. Do we need a general from the greens or the yellows? So, uh, Come in here. What 
we got. I think there's not a lot of difference between them, is it? Okay, I think we'll go with the yellows. Uh, we're... That's three. That's your three Full unit. And I think how much money we got? We got just over a thousand. We're pulling it's a good life. just a couple of uh, slingers to start with. Ah, we got no money left. <laughs> that would teach me. So what we'll do eventually is this army can come back. This army can come over here. Once this army's got a few troops in it, we can, he can come over and defend this. So we're just going to go for an intern. Okay, we got some skills. Our general's got promotion. I'd like to keep building up this ambush because I certainly want to do a lot more ambushes. So we'll bring you up there. And we certainly need a bit more morale for upkeep for ships. Ships. What we got down it? I think we're going to come this path. We got here movement speed, attract levy. Or well, we certainly wouldn't mind the charge back bonus on my. Yeah, I think we'll get the charge bonus on the cavalry as well. It's... I think cavalry is going to be quite important for when you fight barbarian tribes, especially if we're going to do ambushes, because the cavalry, we need to get the cavalry in to be able to deal with the opposition. Right, they've come in, we've got damaged units. I'm, I think I'm going to fight this, because I don't really want to lose any of these units, and we've got, because we've got lots of units which um ha. okay we're gonna have to fight this battle of kartuba probably gonna come in this way so uh ah. gonna need a put Get the slingers. Put the these guys on the front there. Garrison. Where's our where's the victory point? Victory points there. So put this lot here. These guys here. Spearman. We have so many deployables. Can't really deploy anything at the moment, so. <laughs> Is that it? Ready? These guys can come as the reserve. I don't think I can get any deploy. Or what you might be able to do, actually, come to think of it, is rethink this. Can we get deployables? Um, I don't think that will work. These won't deploy outside, so. Um, so we'll just kind of put this as a wall here. Put these guys just here, backed up by these. We'll put these guys in defense. But you. You, yeah. Let's see. Keep the general out of the way, and we'll start the battle. Just of course, these towers have got pretty short range. No 
we've got the towers. No real impact on these. Should have gone for the auto resolution. <laughs> um. killed anyone in this one yet killed anyone in this one Warriors, we will pierce their heart. bring us back These guys up here. Ready for battle. Missiles ready. Thing is, I'm back. One of our units has used all its ammunition. We hunger for blood and battle. Fire hearts, swords. Slingers, got to slow go. After the general, I think you guys can keep out of it. These guys are broken. Slingers. Bring the slingers over here. Oh, bring more slingers over here. Slingers. Don't worry about their slingers. Hitting that missile cavalry. What are your orders? Warrior. Meet the bleed. Ready for battle. String up. Warriors ready. Keep hitting that cavalry. That was my cavalry. One of our units has used all the time. Not the general, though. This way. Where's my other slinger? Where's my actual slinger units? Where have they gone? Slingers. What are you doing back there? those guys cavalry get you around the back Oops, I think I've just thrown my cavalry away. Yep. <laughs> oh well. We are 
One of our units has used all its ammunition. As you say. You can take out. You come in. You pull away. You pull away. Here's my general. Ox warriors. Okay, get these guys around here. Got them. Gonna be expensive. Yep, they've gone. That was a pretty close thing. End battle was 330. We might have lost our cavalry because that stupidity that I did. And that should be the end of the Turdetani. Yeah, we lost a. Lost a couple from the garrison. We lost one of our. Oh well, that's the way it is. We're gonna take. Okay, Carthage in sent surrendered. Trampled the faction into dust. Yes. Child is born. Yeah, we lost two units. Oh. Of course, the game has cheated a little bit. Right, what we're going to do is build that. Um, storage pit. Farmer's market. Ready for okay. Um, this army needs to rebuild. We can't get any more cavalry here. You can get some Iberian cavalry. Let me just see what the recruitment over here is. Um... Got Lusitari, Lusitani. Warriors all. Not here. Versailles. Are you sure where we're getting those from? Okay. Um, I think we're. Oops, don't want to raise an army. Ready for orders. Uh, we need good fighters. Cheap. Come out of the city, and then we're. Are you ready to do your duty to the you. tribe? Of complete iron mine. That's given us some money. <laughs> this guy, we're gonna move you this way a little bit. Get you to recruit. Ready to do your duty to the tribe. Yeah. We got here Lusitani light spearmen, Galatian medium infantry. Don't really want to spend a lot on basically what is going to be garrison troops. I've got to remember the pattern. So uh, Carthage have got these two settlements. I'll push you through. Well, I don't think we're actually at war with these at the moment. Are these actually at war with anybody? Or are they just quite happily minding their own business? They're at war with the Ed these. So we can't really go bowling into there. 
what we need to do is find out how strong this army is but the problem is going to be getting to them because the only way to go is out through here so i think what we're going to need to do is kind of build up our capabilities here now i wouldn't mind some sanitation in this building in this here we've got sanitation there um, although I think we can get sanitation from temples, can't we? Yeah. And we get uh, a little bit of public order, a little bit of sanitation. Anything that's going to give me money. We don't need cultural influence. Uh, maybe these are... If I was to go this way, we, well, we can get wealth from farming, uh, food... order due to sanitation plus six sanitation regions or provinces um i think we'll go with that because that will fix the sanitation in this one as well and then what we have to do is kind of work our way in this direction and uh, so i think that's all we can do this turn let's get a different in turn So we've got plus 15 diplomacy with Carthage, which is worth it for 15 turns. Action rises, Karana. <laughs> okay, household expands. Kind of back where we started. A little bit worried about where this guy's going. He seems to be... A little bit of a long way from home. And, and they actually at war with Carthage or anything stupid like that. They are. <laughs> There's a way I could get to them. I mean, it's a long way round and we'd have an isolated settlement out here. Um, let's we get any diplomatic agreement with these guys we have need of um, talk I'm no, sure. no trade agreement we also need good food okay, cancel um, military access no we're gonna have to go through them there's no kind of ifs and buts and maybes about it um uh, i won't confederate Welcome. with us will they we will talk and then no. we will feast until our We've got to go through them, but we don't really have much we can build here, is there? This is one of the exciting things. Oh, um. We've got to wait with that, I think. This is actually Kartuba, isn't it? I think we're going to just invest a little bit in money. I think we're just going to leave this agent here and I mean in some ways uh, let me just see this region here we could come across It'd be nice if these guys actually came down and took this then we could come down and take it from them um we're gonna send you that way bring you this way oops um, take you into here and we need an extra got no money <laughs> yep um, you've got no money either Iberian levies with satani life you're just going to be a garrison army to begin with and I think that's all we can do this turn we're only earning a thousand a turn so we're going to be a little bit pressed for cash It got an increase in rank. Research complete. Earthworks. A little bit more money here. So there's... Oh well, just go that way. It doesn't really make that much difference. Um, these guys are going to be a little bit expensive, but uh, armor. And their armor is not brilliant. Got here. This army's 15, this army's 35. Um, 
these are Galatian medium infantry. These guys don't have brilliant armor, but they're pretty good. I think we'll get one of these. Yeah, that's going to take all my money, but I think it'd be worth it because that they will be a bit stronger in defense. Um, right, we've just completed research. Earthworks. Whatever that was. <laughs> Uh, where was it? What have we just completed? Oh, we got earthworks here. You get plus three sanitation or, or areas here and a little bit more growth. Alternative is to go for a raised site. Because that means we can up actually upgrade our settlements a little bit. Um... Let me just see. We're not really going to get that much. Not even near tier 3 farms. I think we'll go this way. So that we can get possibility of upgrading our settlements. And we might get a bit of money indirectly from that point of view. Close settlements here. Yeah, actually, change of mind. Here we go there. We're going to go for sanitation across the board I think uh, you can just come and stand there for the moment got just love this army to move away because if we do that we could get in and take this settlement come on guys you just want to come down here and attack these guys um, let's Um, I want to bring move this guy up to here, and then we'll, what we'll do is possibly bring this agent down to keep an eye on what's going on in this area. I think that's all we can do this turn. I mean, it'd be great if we could kind of sneak in and take that settlement in the center if they was I was undefended. And I think that's all we can do this turn. So we're just gonna, oops, now we've got some unassigned skills. <laughs> okay, we've got self defense. Yep, always prefer self defense. Um, what we got here? A little bit of cultural conversion. What we got here? Industry, agriculture, construction costs. I think we'll come this way. Uh, upkeep for our armies. Uh, maybe we'll just get that. Because we got our hero. What have you got? Um, I want to come. Can't get to this yet. Got experience, groups, parents, general, army unit. I think we'll go with that. Oh, we got another one as well. Up to evading en enemies. Okay, we'll go with that. And we'll just go for an enter. Tensions in Sicily. Means the Romans are having a go at the Carthaginians. Mission issued. Search the technology. Tribal council. What is tribal council when it's at home? More exercises, warrior code, siege, tribal economy, and tribal council. So what would we get if we got that mission? Turns of remote reward. Four turns of cultural understanding. Not really worth the effort, actually. I'd rather sort the sanitation issue out. Um, we'll look at this. You. These guys have moved off. Ready for battle. Get moving. How can I? I will walk the old track. <laughs> oh, big mistake. Big mistake. I don't think there's anything else we can do here. Got this here. Um, 
food's a little bit low. It give us a little bit of wealth. Okay, I think we're car tubers actually doing better than we are. No, actually, what I should probably do. Yeah, I think that'd be okay. In turn. Okay. Punic Wars, the city of Syracuse has fallen to the Carthaginians with their threat to the Punic Sicily. On the doorsteps, Rome now views their former allies as Carthage's enemies. So the Punic Wars have started. <laughs> Subject gains notoriety. We'll just do that. Oops. I don't want to hire. I want to die. Remember your family has been caught hunt hunting sacred hares. The, pro the people of the tribes of my own blood. Kill him. He must die. Uh, he is in my blood. We'll punish him, I think. Rather than just kill him. Uh, we do need to get some of these guys married. But we're... Now, I'm very tempted to go for... But we need to find where that army went. He's... Look at that. He's just on the edge of the boundary there. <laughs> Okay. The shadows. Um. Why don't you just move away? Um. What we're gonna do is we're going to ambush because that means that we appear to disappear from the army. Got a little bit of cash, so I think it's time to get another one of these guys married because. To keep them happy, um, <laughs> so uh, get you married. That's going to cost us 555, but maybe we'll get you married as well. What that will do is make these guys a little bit happier. It also means we'll have some agents to get out and about. And I think that's about all we can do this turn. So it's going to go for another in turn. This woman has proven herself quite capable of organizing labor in your family. Huge, large household. She's stern, effective, and her farms are prospering. We can employ her to help plan our agricultural development. Alternative, we can delegate this to the clan leaders. We'll hire her. I always like to hire these guys. Hidden agent exposed. So we got a little bit of money coming in. These guys have come back to. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have to run the risk of upsetting these winters so we're actually going to the fortify there actually I'll put you right on the border fortify I wouldn't mind strengthening this army a little bit uh, we've got light infantry um, no, I'm gonna keep, not going to spend the money. I'd like to knock these guys out, even though technically the settlement's going to be a long way out in the middle of nowhere. Because I think if we can knock those out, we may actually help the um, Ebitani, and these guys might go and attack them. But I'm just going to burn another in turn. Okay, hidden engine exposed, yes. Warning protection expiring. That means we're nearly through 20 turns. Mad as a March hare. Minus four public order. That should be okay. I don't think public order is an issue at the moment. You're minus one. Yeah, plenty. Right. Gonna go for it, guys. Yep. Is there nothing else? <laughs> And then these guys are going to be unhappy with us, but uh, how can I assist you? But uh, how can I? The shadow. I think if we can get in there and take them, uh, well, let's get a couple of extra troops. This garrison, and then because that would defend our flank, I think I can get in and take this settlement in this part. So we're going to go, go shoot out another quick end turn. We got a faction rises. I've seen no idea where these guys are. 
Um, probably in the middle there, Barbarian tribe, probably in the middle of nowhere. Yep. Our druid has increased uh, production report. That's good. Getting a little bit of cash now, building up. A bit worried about that household expansion. Uh, let's just have a look here at this general. Um, yep, okay. Let's see the battles. I think we'll give him that. That could probably be quite useful. And then. Uh, zip in here I think we can fight this very quickly got no cavalry <laughs> uh, yeah they've come out they're dead oh wow. gonna be interesting they're down there okay we can't Get you guys on that side, you on this side. Let's see about what are. I think I might have to convert these guys to slingers. Get you guys on that side. We have no fear. General can't would deploy, nor can you. Nor can you. <laughs> Iberian cavalry. Um, so the cavalry is going to have to kind of barrel, barrel in. Iberian you guys don't have forward deployment as well, so you're going to have to to come that way we have discovered the enemy's hidden yep. units general in that way one of the drawbacks of forward deployment is the fact that uh, you don't really get Hmm. No, come forward. These guys are going to be late to the battle, but have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Iberian sword. Access. Put a call. Ready. Trappers. Ready. Warriors. Access. Warriors. Ready. Access. Ready. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Bump. Um, here we go. You guys in with the flank attack. You guys over here. One of our units has used all its ammunition. It's the cavalry. These guys in in the front. Heavy <laughs> Get the charge. Um. Actually, you push these. General can come through the center. Fire uh, that was my my cap. <laughs> um, units has used all its ammunition. Actually, um, I don't think we're going to need the slingers. Uh, go away. Um, you round here, guys.
you guys can burst straight through there. Horseman that way. Keep the general out of trouble. Go away. Chase these guys off. Of course, one of the problems with barbarian tribes is that they, they've got relatively low morale. So when their morale starts to go, they crash. But it's also something worth remembering if you are playing a barbarian because because morale can fall very very quickly. And down they go. Is this this? settlement here Ready for and we got an increase in rank now what we need to find out is where our enemy actually is okay they're just their strongest army is here and they're still relatively strong so yes. we need to kind of creep down this way they're somewhere they are. How can I help? Um, Messing with the enemy. We can our scouts got a promotion. I told you I'd be a great man. Right. What I'd like to do is a little bit of diplomacy now. Ah, not diplomacy, what am I on about? Um, Carthage. It is an old now, I don't think we're... These guys, I would like to... I mean... Come on, guys. Greetings. Speak plain. You're good. Um. I welcome you, worthy speaker. Okay. I think we're going to need to try and butter them up a little bit. Um... Who they are. Um, they're the. I'll, I'll, I'll be completely upfront. I'm not very good with barbarian faction names. Ah, uh, not that one. We're gonna. And. Uh, let's see if we can get a little bit of status from here. It's these guys, isn't it? Uh, send you to there. What is the. What have we got here? Um, I certainly would like copper going. What's the other thing that we got here? Not, not interested in spending that. We, we won't need the cash at the moment. We, we shouldn't have a problem with respect to culture. I think we'll put a copper mine in because that will give us some more wealth. As I say, culture-wise, at the moment, we should be pretty rock solid. Um, what province are you a member of? So you're part of this, the uh, region name that you're not allowed to mention. YouTube can get a bit upset if you actually mention this. So our possible next target could be this, and then we'd encircle this guy because if we take this region. Uh, although I still would like this in fact I'd like them to confederate with us but I doubt if they will but maybe if we get them of course because we control this settlement now that means that we're in the centre so we can strike out in any direction once we consolidate our position so and but of course with this I think we could there is a possible way that you can get through here but it, I don't think it's particularly that good so this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.